right now where today um, I am doing the uh, the animal signs video and it's really really basic stuff I mean it's not it's not how to track them or anything like that it's just um, how to or some things to look out for that uh, might help you when you're looking for uh, animals such as deer um, even rabbits I suppose foxes badgers whatever we come across really um, I haven't been here for a, oh, it a couple of weeks now maybe three weeks so I'm not entirely sure what's what we're gonna find or if we're gonna find anything at all but uh, have a look and uh, see what we find right now here you say I've got loads of things in my hands but uh, you should be able to see the dog paw prints there and they're probably really easy to identify with the the pads and the claws um, badges will look slightly different I don't uh, not sure if we can find any in this woodland um, There's normally a few deer that walk around up here, so we should see plenty of evidence of those at some point. Now here's, um, this is quite an obvious track. I'm not sure if you can see where, where it comes through, just down here, straight across. And uh, that's the main crossing point, and judging by the size of it, I'd say that's probably deer that come through there and yes there you go that so put my tripods down and everything that there you can just see the little two two prong well two indentations that's a, like a typical deer hoof very small one that so it's probably a muntjac maybe a row but there's uh, there's more muntjac in this woods than row so I'm assuming it's probably them and sometimes if there's brambles and things like that near the track you'll find bits of their hair but these are old dead brambles so they're more likely to snap off rather than catch hair um, that one's not anything on that one either so uh, I'll try and um, with the, any tracks I do see, I'll try and put a little photograph up on the video alongside it so that you can uh, get a better idea of what it should look like if you don't recognise it. And that's where the deer track goes off into that direction there. Uh, the, most animals will use... The people up there. Most animals will use the, uh, the main tracks as a kind of highway, I suppose, if you like. Um, where they'll all get from one side of the woods to the other or long distances in the woods um, and then each sort of animal group tends to have their own little offshoots from the main track to their uh, feeding grounds or um, their, wherever they live basically um, whether it be a, a rabbit warren, a badger set or just a little deer scrape or something like that somewhere probably the wrong word for it, it's not really a deer scrape, but uh, so there's another track coming through here, it's a bit clearer this one, comes straight across there and down through into the undergrowth, well, I'll try and get over into that undergrowth in a bit, but I know there's an easier way to get in there than coming this way. So the best best places to look for um, animal prints is well, obviously, obviously look for the uh, the game trail or the track the animals have been using. But uh, slightly damp soil near the sides of uh, near the sides of ditches, waterlogged ditches or stuff like that, because the main track, although it's quite
quite wet and muddy and everything. There's so much traffic on it that it obliterates the, the tracks. There's another track and that's another deer print there. Again, the same size, nice small one. So it's probably a muntjac again. Muntjacs are about the same size as a dog, a large-ish sort of medium to large dog, depending on the age of the, the deer. Okay, here, sorry this mic's a bit noisy. Uh, well, on most, on most stumps that you'll see around the woods, uh, sort of especially the ones that are not right on the track but just off, but you will get it on, on the stumps on the track as well. Um, you'll see the evidence of squirrels and other rodents that have been eating uh, the seeds out of pine cones and what they do is they pull the scales out and eat the seed that's right at the base normally. So these, this one hasn't been touched, well has been a little bit there, try and get this so that the light's not in the way. And they pull them out and uh, eat the seeds that are right at the base of there. Uh, so probably the most abundant form of food for them in most forests or especially pine well definitely pine forests but uh, they'll also you'll often also find uh, nut casings from uh, hazelnuts and things like that on stumps so uh, that's one one sign that the squirrels are around <coughs> I think rabbits also do it as well to some extent when they're living in the woodlands um, but uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, so uh, I'll have to try and find out for you. But there are other signs that uh, rabbits are around, obviously, like droppings, but I expect most people probably know what rabbit droppings look like. Um, I'm not sure if there's any around here. No. There's some uh, little rabbit warrens over in the corner there, well not corner but just over there somewhere so we'll go and have a look at that see if we can find anything holes here but they haven't been used for years um, there are some over this way if you'll notice there's a few feathers laying around like that then uh, here there's not enough of them for it to be a kill um, but what often happens um, pigeons when they get startled they'll fly away and they'll sort of shed a couple of feathers here and there as they're sort of flapping their wings like mad but they'll also um, sit and preen themselves and pull out the, the loose feathers or uh, the winter feathers I suppose and uh, obviously you'll see those laying around on the floor but uh, let's have a look there's another rabbit hole And we'll see the here, hopefully, there's some dried rabbit droppings. So there's not, not any fresh ones there. Rabbits don't mind where they do their droppings. They'll often do it around the entrance of their, their little burrows and their holes and warrens, whatever. But uh, a lot of other animals prefer not to do that for obvious reasons. Yeah, there's uh, some more evidence of the uh, the squirrels eating again. That's pine cones, and the dogs obviously uh, decided that's going to be his mound as well. There. So they'll uh, so it's that's an old old stump, but uh, doesn't always have to be a stump. It can just be a, a raised mound. They, uh, the reason for that is because they can sit up on the mound while they're eating, and they got. A, a good vantage point for uh, foxes and things sneaking up on them. So that's one 
one thing to look out for. <coughs> here is a, uh, a badger community over here, and it's actually an active one. So I'll try and find the uh, least obtrusive way in. And this is an old one. This is an old badger set. And you can tell it's an old badger set because there's debris inside the holes. And same as this one here. A new badger set will be like that. They'll keep the uh, the entrance clear. And there's a uh, fresh sort of soil that's been pulled out. That's an old one. That's an old one. An old one. That's a new one over there. Don't know if you can see that just there. And you can see the tracks that the uh, badgers have made where they flatten the grass out. There's an, well, it's a fairly recent one, but I'm not sure with that one. Ah, there's some uh, droppings here, they're quite old droppings. A bit of badger, f oh no, it's not. I thought that was badger fur or hair, I suppose. I think, I'm not sure if that's a new or a used one or not. It looks quite recent. That's definitely a new one there. You can see the, uh, the track it's made coming up and out. So they won't be active during the day because they're nocturnal creatures. And uh, wherever you see badgers, or evidence of badgers, you won't get any hedgehogs in this area for quite a way, because uh, badgers are about the only predator that I know of that can uh, prize hedgehogs open with their claws. So. one looks like he comes out and curves around the side and goes off that way somewhere uh, around the tree and down I'm not sure if we can see there's a path or track trail whatever running down that way so there's no I can't see any prints around here at the moment but this the soil is uh, quite dry and hard at the moment and obviously with the new the new soil that's been pulled out that'll cover up anything that was there and fill it in so if it was wet you'd probably get some around this area here some rabbit droppings as well just there and that's the it looks like badger to me so it's got hair in it so it's not a dog that's one way you can tell or a better idea that you can tell if some if droppings belong to a dog because dog generally won't have the hair in it uh, because they don't eat animals whole they, they normally eat processed foods so uh, that's, a, that's definitely a dog, <laughs> and it, obviously dogs, bigger dogs will have bigger droppings as well, so that's uh, just some of the ways that you can tell. Um, I mentioned earlier about the size of a, a hole in a hedge, or the size in the foliage, where a, a deer crossing was, and uh, you can get a good idea from what animals go through it as to the size of it, because if it's a, in an, un, an overgrown sort of area, and there's only a small hole, like uh, I don't know, maybe seven or eight inches, then that's gonna be a rabbit because nothing else squeezes through small gaps like that easily and wears it down. Uh, if it's up to a foot, maybe a little bit over a foot, the chances are it's a fox or a badger or both. Because um, they, they do tend to prey on a similar sort of insects and bugs and grubs and whatnot like that so they'll often be together and the larger ones that are about two foot three foot are going to be deer 
of varying sizes, probably muntjac and roe. And then the bigger ones, the next ones up from that are going to be things like fallow deer and red deer perhaps, but there's no red deer or in this woods. I don't think there's any fallow deer in this woods either, I've never seen any. Right now, um, as I was saying earlier about the uh, the leaves, the un uh, not leaves, the feathers from birds. Now this is more of the uh, the outer feathers, the top, the higher layers, and this is enough in a small enough patch to mean that there's been a, a fox kill there. So the uh, the pigeons come down, or dove possibly, and uh, the fox has come along and taken advantage of it. So uh, it's dragged off the uh, the rest of it to eat somewhere at its leisure, I'd imagine, probably into the uh, the undergrowth there, where it's a bit more hidden. Mm -hmm.